Stars are one of the most basic entities in our universe. Their study reveals a lot of secrets of the cosmos. However, a recent discovery has put us in a scientific crisis as astrophysicists have discovered a star that is older than the universe itself. Commonly known as the Methuselah star, the official designation of this star is HD 140283. Before we start to learn more about this star, make sure you subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to connect with us. So let us start by the classification of this star. Stars come in a variety of sizes and surface temperatures. By studying these physical parameters, the age and evolutionary stage of the star can be easily determined. HD 140283 is a subgiant star. This means, unlike our Sun, it isn't burning hydrogen into helium in its core. So it is neither on the main sequence nor on a red giant branch of Hertzsprung Russell diagram. It has roughly the same mass and temperature as that of the Sun, but has twice the radius and four times the luminosity. The main spectrum spectral type of Methuselah star is G, same as that of the Sun. It is about 202 light years away in the constellation of Libra. But the thing that has surprised the astronomers is not the classification of Methuselah star, but its age. The universe popped into existence 13.8 billion years ago. This number is calculated by studying the current expansion rate of the universe and reversing the entire process. This number has an uncertainty of 800 million years. HD 140283 is estimated to be 14.46 billion years a number greater than the age of the universe. British physicist Robert Matthews wrote, It's a riddle of cosmic proportions. How can the universe contain stars older than itself? That's the conundrum now facing astronomers trying to establish the age of the universe, and its resolution could spark a scientific revolution. You may be wondering how astronomers concluded this puzzling age of the star. To understand that, let us learn a concept of stellar astrophysics. When the universe formed, the major elements that were synthesized were hydrogen and helium. The lithium was also formed in trace amounts. A few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the first stars formed. These were the so-called population 3 stars or the metal poor stars. In astronomy, every element other than hydrogen and helium is known as a metal. This is in contrast to what your chemistry textbook taught you. So the first stars were formed from hydrogen and helium and in their cores formed heavier elements such as carbon, nitrogen, silicon, sulfur, iron, nickel, etc. When these population 3 stars died, they enriched the interstellar medium with their heavier elements. The new generation stars that subsequently formed contained these heavier elements. They were higher in metallicity than the population 3 stars. The next generation stars were called the population 2 stars. Repeating the same process, population 1 stars with even more metal content started forming. Our sun is a metal rich population 1 star. It has high metallicity, that is, high proportion of heavier elements other than hydrogen and helium. Studying the iron content in the star, scientists can determine its age. The iron content in Methuselah star is lower by a factor of 250 than that of the sun. This puts the age of the star to a maximum of 14.46 billion years. It is important to know that the current age of the universe has an uncertainty of 800 million years and the minimum age of Methuselah star is 13.6 billion years. Therefore, the possibility that the star was formed after the Big Bang cannot be ignored. If that is the case, then we have just discovered one of the oldest stars in the universe. Studying the star will give more information about the early universe. If the star is older than the universe, then we are in a scientific crisis. This means the Big Bang model isn't correct and needs improvement. Also, we may need to reconsider the expansion rate of the universe and have a better result for the age of the universe. That's how science works. Better theories replacing the old ones. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to connect with us.